Uh, thanks, guys. Now, making this day and I think every day historic for himself and his growing legion of fans, Daniel Barron. Um, it's always such a pleasure to connect with you, brother. Thank you so much Thank for, you. for coming through. Um, you know, I'd like to take a, a step back now because I know you've got African fans. We're introducing you to hopefully a ton more African fans on the Africa channel. Absolutely, uh, but you've yeah. enjoyed a bit of, of airtime throughout Africa. Talk us through that, man. Yeah, so a couple of months ago I released a song called Children of the Sun and uh, I didn't know what to expect. It was uh, something different to what I'd done yeah. before. And then uh, it went to number one in South Africa and then following that we started hearing I uh, started getting tweets from people in uh, Nigeria and Zambia and all over Africa and it started charting all over Africa. So, so it, it's, it was really incredible, yeah. It's an anthem. That's Thank why, you. man. It's an anthem. Thank and you. I think it, it kind of touches on a lot of what people are feeling out there. We need these kind of anthems to inspire us. Is there a, a, a key, a formula to writing a number one hit? Because you've done it now five times. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's crazy. You know, um, I don't think there's a, there's a set formula for, for something like that. It's just kind of, um, you, you, it, it's sometimes it's a bit of a gamble. You know, you release a song. I, I mean, I could love it, but uh, like millions of people could hate it, you know, but it's like, you know, you get a feeling. I, I, I do get a feeling when I come up with that chorus and it's like something really miraculous that happens yeah. and, and then, then I release it and, and it's something that's, that's really magical. So, yeah, there's no real formula though. It's like, it's, I, I yeah. think there's, there's a level of authenticity that's always been there and it it's, must have been difficult when you look at how you arrived on the scene, certainly from the, the broader public's perspective as um, you know, being so successful on a reality TV show and I think a lot of people would assume that then that defines you. Um, but clearly you had a very clear idea of the kind of artist yeah. you wanted to be and the kind of music you wanted to, to make before that. The, you, you were already an artist. Thanks, yeah. And, and you know, it, also not winning a show like that, um, uh, you know, you, you find a lot of guys... I, I wasn't going to say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people in the past that, that don't win it kind of come crawling out, more, you know, yeah. elevating, you know, and uh, it's, it's something that I've always been passionate about is just breaking the rules, breaking the boundaries when it comes to genre. Like, I, I'm not always in a set genre. I like yeah. to jump. I've got ADD that way, you know, <laughs> like, so, so it's, it's, that's really important to me to, to, not, to not remain in the box, you know. We see that ADD come out when you when you play five instruments at the same time. And, um, I love the fact that you're always taking risks every time you perform on the show. And I don't know if you use us as a bit of a kind of a litmus test to put it out there um, to the millions. But is there something about that that also excites you about breaking into new kind of talent bases and, and it always kind of enhancing that musical experience from a performance perspective? Absolutely, you know. And, and I, I always say when when I perform when I when I start performing a song on this or release a song on this this beautiful show it's kind of like gives the song some good luck because sure, the past yeah. like the past 10 tracks that we've launched on on this show have have really done well so so it's really been it's it's been a pleasure and a blessing and and a massive thanks to you guys oh, yeah man well i mean that that really is reciprocated um you know i've talked about the african fans at the moment we're seeing this beautiful brotherhood emerging between the african artists the self-belief at the moment is there anyone out there um speaking of breaking into new genres that you might want to collaborate with Absolutely. Um, obviously, WizKid uh, in Nigeria yeah. is doing massive things worldwide, and I think you probably find everyone wants to collaborate collaborate with him now. But I mean, yeah, would it be a, would it be a dream to collaborate with a, with with someone with that uh, passion that's been able to bring his music. Africa to the world. So, yeah, yeah, 100%. And he wears that badge, uh, that badge really proudly. So you spoke about one of your big African hits. What are you going to perform for us right now? So today I'm going to be, be performing Children of the Sun, which has been a, a hit around Africa. And uh, this time it's going to be quite a stripped down version, more acoustic vibe. Oh, dude, love you, bro. Thank you so much Thank for you blessing so much, us with Graham. your talent this morning. Um, sir, as always, the stage is yours. Take it Thank away. Thank you.
forever We're walking on beams of light The stars are becoming